antenna length as well as our gain. Now the antenna length is almost at two feet long, and we've only gained maybe one decibel of gain. To tell you the truth, that added gain is not worth the added size, in my, opin in my opinion. Now let's go up to 22 windings. Now we've only got 19 and a half decibel gain. Meanwhile, our antenna is at almost 28 inches long. That's way too long for you to carry around. Maybe if you're going to leave it outside, okay. If you want to put this in your apartment, that's going to be a little too big. If it's something you want to carry around in a rifle form, that's going to get you shot because someone thinks you're actually holding a rifle. So, to be honest, I think 18 windings should pretty much be the highest you should go. Now, this will give us all of the information that we need to know about the actual antenna. We have 18 turns. We have S lambda, which has 1.264 inches in distance between each one. We have a ground plane of 4.87 inches. Five inches will do. And that's everything we need to know right there. So we're just going to go to the bench side, and I'll show you some of the tips and techniques that I've used to create the antenna. All right, some of the tools that we're going to need, various drill bits, a drill, soldering iron, pliers, uh, a couple of nuts and bolts, a couple of screwdrivers, you know, typical tools. You should have this stuff laying around your house. Of course, a pair of wire cutters. Now, according to the plans, I have gone ahead and cut down the PVC pipe to length, took my ruler, and using a regular Sharpie marker, I made a little dot at every 1.26 inch mark down the entire thing. And then using ordinary household tape, just scotch tape, I taped the wires in the position. Now, it's not completely even. We can work on this later. What I will do later is most likely use either epoxy or if you can, you can get something called heat shrink tubing, which you guys should be familiar with by now. If you can get two inch diameter heat shrink tubing and put heat shrink tubing over this entire thing, you'll have a really nice, sleek, sexy antenna. Now, I've gone all the way down to the end with the actual coil, as per instructions. Now, to build the reflector, I got a piece of clear plexiglass. It's about one eighth inch thick. You can use whatever you got laying around the house, but the, the so you need something uh, saw, uh, strong and firm. You don't want something very flimsy. Now, I cut this to the reflector length, five inches. I didn't really care for getting it straight. I made an X going across it to mark dead center, and I drilled a hole. I also drilled a hole dead center inside of a 2.5 uh, inch end cap, which this pipe will fit into per Jason's instructions. And I've also cut the side off per Jason's instructions. And this is just going to simply bolt in. I've got a bolt, a lock nut washer. It's going to go in like so. That's going to go in like so. Then using the screwdriver, I'm just going to loosely put this together. And what I did was, I lined everything up, and I marked where I wanted to put the end connector. Here's our end connector panel mount. We've been using these on the show, on these 2.4 gig segments a lot. And I drilled a hole, and I drilled some pilot holes for the mounting screws. Okay, let's see if I can get a nice shot of that. And you can see, see the holes right there. Hello. Fuckable. Nice. Okay, so got all the holes in there. Got a couple of typical everyday PC screws, which will actually go into the back. Now, you might notice all these little purple marks. Those purple marks are actually there because this is actually the bracket for the U-shape muffler clamp. And I marked a couple of locations. I've already cut two of them out right there. Put two nice little holes so I can feed that through. But, right, but, but now you're saying, Fox, you dumb shit, you are using plastic as a reflector. That's not going to work. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm just going to use some aluminum foil tape. You can use any kind of metal material that you have around the house. 
If you have some kind of spray-on contact cement and aluminum foil, that will also work. Um, if you have a, uh, aluminum paint for radiators, that will also work. Metal, people, just need some metal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera. I'm gonna assemble all the little bits, and we're gonna go ahead and see where we can go with this. All right, I got all of the elements lined up. Use plenty of packing tape. Not the best material of choice, but it does the job. If I had some two-inch diameter heat shrink tubing, I'd definitely use that to make this completely non-movable. Here's a bit of a close-up of the solder joint on the end connector, and the solder joint leading into the actual driven element. When you're lining up this metal shim inside this end cap, make sure that it's in the exact angle or close enough to the angle of the actual spiral that follows all the way down the tube. It's not the prettiest antenna that I've made, but nonetheless, it should work pretty well. Let's go and test it out in NetStumbler. All right, with the stock antenna and NetStumbler going, we've got five active access points. Go ahead and look at my own home network. Not pulling the greatest signal, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up some antenna cable. Pull off the rubber duck. this antenna, see how well it does. Ooh, look at that gain. Nice. And if we go ahead and pan it around a bit, we can try to locate in which general direction access points are coming from. And to tell you the truth, this really isn't a very heavy antenna, but I would try to refrain holding it like this Putting your hand on the element would actually cause uh, interference, of course, but nonetheless, this is, a, this is a directional antenna. It should yield about 15 decibels of gain. It's relatively lightweight. Circular polarized, great if you have a lot of reflected signals around you, and if you got the materials, I'd highly suggest building one. All right, I'll put some links up on the show notes, and uh, all that crap. So, guess that's the end.